Good morning everyone and welcome to the Herefordshire Golf Course. This is known locally as Wormsley because that's the nearest village. We are in the middle of nowhere so you're not going to hear anything today except for that helicopter going over so there shouldn't be any traffic noise. It's a very undulating golf course up and down up and down ball below your feet ball above your feet up slopes down slopes so it's a real challenge that five iron I had back there I had 171 the ball was above my feet on a down slope and I didn't hit that shot Mike Unwin hit that shot that was something that uh, I was doing a drill of his yesterday to improve my ball striking and it is working so thanks Mike um, I've been here twice before long time ago I think the last time was about 15 years ago uh, the trees have grown up quite a bit from what I can see in 15 years and uh, I've never broken 80 and this is one of my favorite places on the planet it's about an hour and 40 minutes from home lots of windy roads got to come through the middle of Hereford to get here I am still in England, I haven't crossed the border into Wales, although you know you can see the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains over there behind me in the distance. So the challenge today is to um, try and break 80. Second hole, got to mark a post, got to go over that brow of the hill and I know that the hole turns left, but you don't want to overdo the pull or the hook or whatever you're trying to hit to get down the left hand side. I got a bit of a two-way miss with the driver at the moment and I don't know which one I'm going to get. I was trying to draw that and faded it instead. So, it's on the golf course. Let's go find it and hit it again. Well, I can see why I've never broken 80. About four or five feet away from the lost ball. I've just hit it down the hill, 156, seven iron. I've missed it 10 yards left because the ball was above my feet, but it's come off the bank, shot across the green. It's now on the back of the green. I've probably got about 20 feet back up the hill. Lucky for some. Well, I didn't see that little turn at the end. That's what I bounced off left of the green. Happy days. I'll tell you what, the next hole looks r remarkably familiar. Well, I've definitely got the fades going today, but I can live with that, I can play with that. The shot I can't play with is the pull, because then I really don't know where, where to bloody well aim. Can I just say, these greens are absolutely mint, the course is in excellent condition, and this cost me £25 today. £25 for this. This is fantastic. Oh, new foot joy jumper, Father's Day present. Thanks, boys.
yeah the wind's getting up shame you missed that at 90 yards and I hit the 50 and off this down slope it came out a bit hot but um, I was quite worried there because I was coming over the brow of the hill and I couldn't see my ball and I've come down the entire slope and off the end of the fairway looks like I got a chip left here Right, I got 283. It's a dog leg to the right. There's a pond on the right. There's trees down the left. It's drivable because it's downwind and it's downhill, which uh, probably explains why I've never broken 80 because I certainly wouldn't have been picking a four iron 15 years ago. get to try the rake for real, don't I? Well, we made it to the green. As you can see, we're way below the level of the green here. 
and it's just as bumpy on the other side if you miss left so there's a whole world of hurt around here so to hit the low slider with the five iron and actually get it on the green even though I'm on the wrong level was pretty decent I think that last green that was a bit like John Travolta grease lightning Never muck up a pop up by rushing. Well, that's huge. Down the wind, of course. Now, the first time I played here, I remember this hole. I was about 17 handicap, it was that long ago, and I finished it with a seven. I thought, great, I got a double bogey on a par five. And then they said, no, it's not a par five, it's a par four. <laughs> How far is it? Is it 455? So yeah, it's a long par four, although, as I say, the wind's helping me today, if not the rain. 161 into the green, uh, so drive 294 is it? Not bad for an old man, 6 iron. Don't to worry about the shot, not the numbers. Well, that was an almighty cock up. I should have been going with a seven there, being uh, slightly downwind and slightly downhill. What a muppet! I thought I'd come round here out of the wind. So, most of the holes I've played have been downwind. One and two was across the wind, so that wasn't too difficult. Now we're going back into the wind, so um, let the hurt begin. These pars aren't going to be as easy as some of the pars I made earlier, assuming I make a par. Just notice there's a very big bird box on that tree. I wonder if that's for owls. Not a barn owl, the hole isn't big enough, but it might be for a tawny owl. I've just realized how bad that tee shot is, because the green is, the green's over there. Definitely out of position, but I can hit a slider with the six iron. If I get it wrong, 
then it's a reload, so this is a bit of a gamble. I wish you could have seen that bounce. We're in business. Well, I guess the tee shot didn't deserve a four. That was a pretty miserable tee shot. Well, that's the nine done. Join us. Uh, can't even say it, can I? Join me in part two for the uh, for the back nine. A bit more windy. The drizzle seems to have stopped for the moment. I'm sure it'll be back. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.